when I was a little girl, I used to get cystitis um, a lot, so I'd have a lot of pain um, and would go into the toilet. Um, my mum would give me a pound every time I downed a pint of water. So we started going to the GP um, when I got cystitis and they'd give me antibiotics. Um, and then we noticed that they weren't working. Um, after um, all the investigation process, they managed to diagnose me with uh, kidney reflux and painful body syndrome. Um, during the investigation process, um, we, I got quite unwell after one of the operations. So they sent off my urine to the lab and it had grown a superbug called ESBL E. coli. Um, so they admitted me to hospital um, straight away, put me in a side room. I didn't really get it at first until everyone started coming in gowns and gloves and the doctor said to me that a lot of antibiotics won't be able to work to get rid of this infection. So obviously it was quite scary for me and my family um, at the time. We did manage to get rid of the infection with a, I think it was a third line antibiotic in the end. Um, and then we thought that would be it but it didn't stop because obviously I'm susceptible to infections due to my kidney reflux. Um, I got an E. coli infection, which is quite a common infection for people to get in like UTIs. Um, and then that was coming back resistant after that superbug attack. So we were all a bit confused what was going on. So um, yeah, years later, um, I can get any infection from E. coli to superbugs like ESBL. Um, Enterococcus, all of them, they all come back highly resistant to treatment. I get attacks about, I don't know, about twice a month um, in bad cases. Um, most of the time I have to be admitted to hospital now for IV antibiotics because the, a lot of the oral ones won't work now. It's obviously um, quite scary to hear that antibiotics won't be able to work to get rid of the infection because that's your sort of last resort. People rely on antibiotics without realising they do um, until something like that said. Um, so yeah, it was quite scary for me and my family to realise like there's no cure, um, there's no backup antibiotics, there's no antibiotics currently being made that we know of. So when I became pregnant, I was obviously very scared as any mum would be. Um, but it started to get complicated um, when I was in my first trimester and I had an attack of ESBL, which is a super bug. Um, and they told me at the hospital that the antibiotics they were going to give me didn't know if it would affect my baby or not because it would never been given to a pregnant woman before. Obviously that made us very scared, we didn't know what was going to happen, but we know that we needed to get rid of that infection to be able to have a successful pregnancy. So. We had to make the decision to take the antibiotic, me and my partner. Um, I had about, I had two attacks of ESBL, superbugs, when I was pregnant. Um, towards the end of the pregnancy, I had an infection called Strep B in my urine. Um, this infection has been known to cause harm to the baby. It can cause blindness, deafness. Um, yeah, it can cause quite a lot of harm to the baby. So knowing that, um, obviously it was quite scary because the antibiotics they would use to normally treat the mother with that infection obviously I was resistant to. So we had a backup antibiotic on standby in case I went into labour early. Yeah we were very lucky on the 23rd of July 2013 um, Emerson was born safely via C-section at 38 weeks. It was a big relief for all the family and for us knowing they had come out safe when all the odds were against us. A lot, Dave! So, yeah, no, it's been a massive relief to know that he's here safe. I am obviously concerned about the future um, and about him getting put on antibiotics when he might not need them and eating meat with antibiotics in. So. I feel like antibiotic resistance would affect his generation the most. <laughs>